only waraal hijab that Allah can talk to human beings from behind a veil just like in a dream can happen to normal human beings as well Allahu 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 Allah so it has been established and it is a known fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can talk to humans in their dreams and these dreams are the authentic ones it is proven from Quran in Surah Al-Shura ayah number 51 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَمَا كَانَ لِأَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ وَمَا كَانَ لِبَشَرٍ أَنْ يُكَلِّمَهُ اللَّهُ إِلَّا وَحْيًا أَوْ مِنْ وَرَاءِ الْحِجَابٍ أَوْ يُرْسِلَ رَسُولًا فَيُوحِيَ بِإِذْنِهِ مَا يَشَاءٍ إِنَّهُ عَلِيٌّ حَكِيمٌ That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can send wahi and you kallimullahu illa wahyan that Allah can talk to, communicate with a human being illa wahyan through wahi just like he talked to Moses alayhi salam Nabi Musa alayhi salatu was salam أو من وراء الحجاب أو يرسل رسولا فيوحي بإذنه or he can send the angel messenger to the human and that will be the wahi that came to most prophets just like the angel Jibreel alayhi salam came to Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and used to bring wahi from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then there is another way aw min waraa al-hijab that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can talk to a human being his servant from behind a veil the other two things that I just mentioned through wahi just like in the case of Nabi Musa alayhi salatu was salam and through the angel messenger just like the case of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam these two are the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talked to humans these two are the exclusive ones for the prophets for anbiya alayhi salatu was salam but the third one awmi waraa al-hijab that Allah can talk to human beings from behind a veil just like in a dream can happen to normal human beings as well and this is the point and this is that secret portal that key that takes us through the portal through a, to a huge knowledge that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is showering his special servants with and this has happened and this has happened to the scholars in the past to Allah's favorite people in the past Abu Hanifa rahimahullah he mentioned that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talked to him in his dreams 99 times and then he reported for the hundredth time as well and at the time of Khalifa when there was a difference in Ummah that either Quran is a creation or Allah's communication either Quran is a creation or Kalam of Allah or talk of Allah this was a difference a huge cause of difference between the Muslims at one point in history at that point the king or Khalifa of, or the, of the Muslims reports to have heard Allah's voice in his dream. And Allah himself cleared this message that Quran is not a creation. It is the kalam of Allah. It is the talk of Allah. It is the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is inseparable. The creation is a separate thing. It is a different thing is something that Allah created 
But the kalam of Allah or the communication or the speech of Allah came from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself not in the form of creation but in the form of communication. So it has been proven that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been talking to his servants whenever he wants through dreams. And that is the portal, that is the secret key. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will guide Imam al-Mahdi through true dreams. And Allah may talk to him in his dreams. So Imam al-Mahdi will be the one who will establish one Khilafah all over the world. That will be the Islamic world order. That will be the Islamic world government. And it won't be a world order like we see a world order in the world now. That it needs fake economy. It needs proxy governments. It needs lots of scamming to the people. It needs lots of oppression, zulm, fitna everywhere, chaos, killing, wars. But in the case of Imam al-Mahdi, this won't be an Islamic world order. It will be the Islamic government of the world. Khilafah in the whole world. So the next event we are expecting now, that has to happen now, is this event.